If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's 100% totally free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many, many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Make sure to download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started today. Hello, self-developers, and welcome to the Patrick Kelly Podcast, where I will be reviewing audible books on self-development that can change your life for the better this year and years to come. It is said that if we keep on doing what we always did, we'll keep on getting what we always got. In other words, to change our output, we first have to change our input. Today is January 23rd, 2021, and this is episode two And today, we will be reviewing the Audible book, The Problem Is You, by John Burke. This Audible book explores how to get out of our own way and conquer self-defeating behavior. When things are not going the way we want them to go, we tend to blame others for our failures. This is also known as blame shift. We blame the weather, we blame our parents, we blame our spouse, we blame our job, we blame our upbringing, but we never look at ourselves as the problem. We never look at the person in the mirror who's also looking back at us and waiting for us to make corrections and changes. Yes, we have to look at the person in the mirror and make that change and not become our own worst enemy. In order to get rid of self-defeating behaviors, we first have to recognize self-defeating behaviors. We cannot change what we do not acknowledge. We might recognize some self-defeating behaviors when we find ourselves overeating and becoming overweight. Procrastination can also be a form of self-destructive behavior when we put things off over and over, knowing that without action, we are not ever going to attain our goals. Some say that procrastination means living yesterday, avoiding today, thus ruining tomorrow. Overspending can also be a form of self-destruction when we try to satisfy an emptiness in ourselves by buying things that we do not need in order to impress others. But all we are doing is spending unnecessary money and racking up credit card debt. This audible book not only goes over the problems of self-destructive behavior, but also the solutions to overcome self-destructive behavior. And most of all, how to recognize a self-destructive behavior. Other forms of self-destructive behavior include the desire to please others. By trying to please everybody, we can end up pleasing no one, including ourselves. The author thinks that many of our self-destructive behaviors come from our subconscious mind, and that we must try to replace bad destructive habits with good habits that create a positive behavior. This audible book is easy to listen to and understand, and I think you will enjoy it. On a scale of one to five, I will give this audible book a solid four for good content. This is the end of this podcast for today. Tune in next week for the next episode and the next audible book of 300 books that I will be reviewing on the Patrick Kelly podcast. Feel free to comment and share. And remember, life does not get better by chance. It gets better by change. Take care.